We are now ready to start working on our I.O. and one of the nice things that Lee and Lee are doing is they are sending the I.O.s out with the fans now installed on them, which is really going to simplify the installation process. So we'll be ready just to put this onto our top bracket. So all we would need to do was set the radiator bracket on top of the I.O. and secure it with the short radiator screws. Now because we're going to have the motherboard set in the bottom setting, I think it is going to look a little bit empty at the top of the case. And I have got loads of Lian Li uni fans, so I am going to do a push-pull configuration at the top. Main reason for doing so is just to fill that space at the top of the case. So I can then set the radiator bracket on top of both sets of fans. Then I'm going to use some long radiator screws to secure the bracket to the fans to the radiator. So out of the box our pump comes with an Intel bracket on it. We're going to be installing it on an AMD motherboard, so we're going to need to remove it. And then it's just a simple matter of sliding our AMD bracket into place. You'll see in our pump we do have this additional slot, and it is for this cable here. And on the end of it we've just got a standard 3-pin 5-volt ARGB cable. And this is to use if you want the lighting on the pump to sync up with your motherboard. I'm planning on using the on these L connects, so there's no reason to plug this in. It's just going to be one extra cable making the build look untidy. But if you do want the lighting on your pump to be synced up with your motherboard, it is worth plugging this cable in. Another thing to mention is there is three options for the aesthetics on the pump. You can change this cover for two other ones that come in the box. I'm not going to show you that now. I have covered this in a separate review video, and I'll put a link to that video in the description. So we're now ready to apply the thermal paste to the I.O. and Lian Li have a special way of doing this. There's a little sticker that we're going to need to put onto the pump. There we go. And it is important that we put it on in the right orientation. This is going to be the up-down orientation and that's going to be the long axis of our CPU. So it is important that the little dots that we have here are in the same axis. We can then add some thermal paste. And then we just need to spread the thermal paste. Okay, so all we need to do then is peel the plastic protection off. So we're just going to have to take care now that we don't damage this while installing the rest of the I.O. So we're then going to be able to lower our I.O. down into the case. And then to secure our bracket at the back, we're just going to simply push it backwards. We can secure the bracket at the top with the two screws, and I'm just going to pass our fan cables through to the back. Okay, so the next thing to do is install our pump, so it's just a matter of getting the AMD clips over the stock motherboard brackets. Try and get the one over the bottom as well. There we go, that's them both on. And then it's just a matter of tightening up both the thumb screws together. Now I'm just going to give both a quick tighten with the screwdriver. In terms of the wiring coming from our pump, the first thing we've got a USB cable that's going to go into the USB 2.0 header on our motherboard. And we've also got a SATA power cable which is going to go into a SATA cable coming from our power supply. We've also got a 4 pin PWM connector and that's going to go into our pump header. So I'm going to pass the USB and SATA cable up and through to the back of the case. And you can see at the top of the case we've got our two fan headers. We've got our CPU fan header here and our pump header here. So I'm just going to plug the cable coming from our pump into our pump header. And then I'm just going to tuck all the excess cable through to the back. We've got two USB 2.0 headers down here at the bottom of the motherboard. So we can route the USB cable coming from our pump through, line it up with the header, and push into place. So you'll notice our Lian Li logo on the pump is in straight. It is rotatable, so all we need to do is turn it round to get it in the orientation that we wanted. I did mention there is an option to remove these covers, so to do that you turn it midway between the two settings and the cover will just pop off. So I'm happy enough, as I said, with the default cover, so I'm just going to leave it here in this orientation. And then at this stage we can remove the plastic protection. And we've also got this little leather strap to help organise the cables on the AIO, so we can go ahead and pop it into place. And then we'll just twist it round. And then at the back of the case we can plug the SATA cable coming from the pump into the SATA cable coming from our power supply. Next thing for us to do is get the fans of the radiator connected up to our Lian Li Uni Fan Hub. And this hub has four channels, one, two, three and four. And in each of the channels we get two different connectors. And these connectors match up to the fans. So we've got a four pin PWM connector. We can plug into the first connector in channel one. And then this is our ARGB connector. And that's it plugged into here. So because we have put two sets of fans on the radiator, we're going to plug our second set in. So the PWM connector 
into here. And what you'll notice is the uh, SL Infinity Uni fans that come separate, they have a three pin five volt air GB connector and obviously it's not gonna go into here. But Leon Lee have thought of that and with the IO they include this little adapter. So it pushes into here. On the other end, we've got a little connector. We remove the protective pins and then we can line it up to here. So there we go. So that's our second fan connected up and we've got two spare channels to connect our other fans up to. So to simplify this process, I'm just gonna plug in these little adapters now because our other case fans are gonna be the same. So now I want to come on to the bottom of the hub and coming from the bottom of the hub, we've got a SATA cable. So we're gonna to need to plug this into a SATA cable from our power supply to power the hub. There's space in the bottom for two additional cables. The first is a USB cable, so we'll plug it in. And on the other end, we've got a USB 2.0 cable, which we need to plug into our motherboard. We need to plug this double cable into the small connector on the other end of the hub. And it's got two cables. We've got a four pin PWM connector and a three pin five volt RGB connector. And the idea behind this is if you plug this cable in and plug them into the appropriate pins on your motherboard, it's gonna give you motherboard sync where your motherboard is gonna be able to control the speed of the fans plugged into here and the RGB effects. Alternatively, you can of course leave this cable out and just use Leon Leeds L Connect, but I'll show you plugging it in for completeness. So we'll pass these cables through to the top of the case and I'm gonna plug the four pin PWM connector into the CPU fan header here. We've got two RGB headers at the top right of the motherboard, so we'll plug the RGB cable into one of these. And then we've got another USB 2.0 header at the bottom of the motherboard, so we'll plug the USB cable coming from the hub into here. 